For more than 46 years, Voyager 1 has traversed the vast reaches of space, carrying with it the hopes and questions of humanity. Launched in 1977, the spacecraft has journeyed farther than any object ever created by humans, transmitting data that has revolutionized our understanding of the solar system and the cosmos beyond. It has outlived its original mission and defied expectations time and again, offering glimpses into the farthest corners of our stellar neighborhood. But in mid-November of 2023, something unexpected happened, something that stunned mission. Scientists and cast a veil of mystery over one of NASA's proudest achievements. On November 14, 2023, Voyager 1 fell ominously silent. The data stream that had remained consistent for decades became garbled and unintelligible. Instead of scientific readings and telemetry, the deep space network began receiving a stream of seemingly random binary data that made no discernible sense. It was as if the spacecraft had lost its grip on its environment, as though its internal systems no longer understood their function or location. Initially, Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory assumed it was a technical malfunction, perhaps a minor glitch in the aging spacecraft's memory or transmission systems. After all, Voyager 1 had faced numerous challenges throughout its mission, and the team had always found a way to troubleshoot and adapt. But as days turned into weeks, the gravity of the situation deepened. Investigations revealed that the problem lay within Voyager's flight data system, the very heart of the spacecraft's operations. A failure in the memory banks had rendered the system unable to process information or organize its transmissions. For the first time in nearly half a century, Voyager 1 was adrift in both a literal and informational void. The spacecraft could still receive commands, but without functional memory, it couldn't process or respond in any meaningful way. Refusing to accept the end of the mission, NASA's engineers embarked on an ambitious plan to revive the probe. The proposed solution was unorthodox and had never before been attempted. To reprogram the flight data system and redirect its operational code to a different, still intact portion of memory. The risk was enormous, with each command taking nearly a full day to reach the spacecraft and another day to receive a response, troubleshooting would be glacially slow and if anything went wrong during the upload or execution, Voyager could become permanently unresponsive. Nevertheless, the team pressed forward. In April 2024, after months of careful planning and patient transmission, the final reprogramming sequence was sent. Two long days passed without any confirmation, and hope began to waver. But then on April 20th, 2024, an unmistakable signal was received. Voyager 1 had responded. The probe was alive, operational, and transmitting again. Initial data suggested that basic systems were back online and that the probe had stabilized. The engineering team breathed a collective sigh of relief. But the euphoria of recovery was soon overshadowed by a new mystery, one that would shake the scientific community to its core. Among the data sent back by Voyager 1 was an anomaly located just beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the solar Wind from our sun gives way to the interstellar medium. Scientists had long believed this region to be a relatively smooth transitional zone, a frontier marking the edge of our solar influence. But Voyager's new readings told a different story. Instead of a gradual shift, the heliopause appeared to be unstable, even violent. It was expanding and contracting in a pulsing irregular pattern. Massive shock waves, far larger than any predicted by theoretical models, were rippling through the area. More troubling still was a tenfold increase in particle density, an E, unexplained surge of energetic particles that no existing theory could account for. As researchers pored over the data, they made an even stranger discovery, a persistent signal embedded within the background noise of space. It was a steady, low frequency, hmm, consistently registering at exactly three kilohertz, this frequency had previously been associated with interstellar plasma oscillations, but this signal was different. It did not vary with solar activity, nor did it fluctuate with distance. It remained unchanged, unwavering, and unrelenting. It ace had been present for nearly three years, but until Voyager's systems were repaired, the full structure of the signal had gone undetected. Now that it had been revealed in its entirety, 
scientists were stunned by its consistency and apparent intentionality. It was as though the signal had been waiting to be found. Initial explanations leaned toward natural cosmic phenomena. But the more the data was analyzed, the more implausible those explanations became. This was not just a random wave in interstellar plasma. The signal's regularity, structure, and amplification as Voyager moved further outward defied every known mechanism of origin. Some within NASA began to wonder in whispers if the signal might be artificial, perhaps a beacon or a transmission designed to attract attention. The idea was met with skepticism and caution. After all, to suggest that humanity's first interstellar emissary had encountered a non-natural signal was to open the door to a thousand questions for which we had no answers. Speculation intensified when another anomaly was discovered. A gravitational distortion near Voyager's current trajectory. While minor gravitational fluctuations are common in deep space, this one was unlike anything previously observed. The instruments detected a dense, massive presence exerting a gravitational pull, yet no visible object could be located. There was no radiation, no reflected light, no detectable heat signature, and disturbingly, the anomaly was not static. It was moving, tracking, even adjusting its path. The implications were staggering. Could Voyager 1 be approaching a massive, unseen object, a rogue planet, a compact black hole, or something that defied our current understanding of celestial bodies? NASA's public response was muted. Initially, they attributed the signal and gravitational readings to cosmic interference and instrumental limitations. But behind the scenes, actions told a different story. On May 2, 2024, NASA enacted a new internal directive, reclassifying all future Voyager 1 telemetry under a heightened security protocol. Requests for real-time access to data were denied. Independent scientists and observatories who had long worked with Voyager data found themselves locked out. Several prominent astrophysicists who had previously commented on the anomalies went conspicuously silent and in some cases scrubbed their earlier statements from online platforms. The sudden blackout raised alarm bells throughout the scientific community. Why would NASA restrict access to a spacecraft that had always operated under an open data policy? What had Voyager 1 found that warranted such secrecy? Was it a mere precaution in the face of unexplained phenomena, or was there a deeper, more unsettling truth behind the silence? Theories abounded. Some believed Voyager had stumbled upon a region of space influenced by advanced extraterrestrial technology, perhaps a cloaked object, or a surveillance system of unknown origin. Others proposed that the spacecraft had entered an artificial field, a kind of interstellar perimeter that humanity was never meant to cross, and a few feared that whatever Voyager had encountered was not passive, that our probe's presence had been detected, and something was now responding. Whatever the truth may be, one thing is clear. Voyager 1's journey is no longer just a scientific expedition. It is now a voyage into the heart of an enigma that challenges everything we thought we knew about the universe. The spacecraft was never intended to venture this far, yet its continued transmissions have unveiled a reality far stranger than fiction. Gravitational anomalies, inexplicable particle surges, and a mysterious signal that grows louder with distance all point to something unprecedented lurking just beyond our reach. NASA's continued silence only deepens the mystery. Are they protecting the public from information too shocking to reveal? Are they grappling with discoveries that threaten to upend the foundations of science? Or are they perhaps in quiet dialogue with a reality that surpasses anything our species has yet faced? As Voyager 1 presses further into uncharted space, we may soon be forced to confront questions we never imagined asking. Are we alone? Have we made contact? And if so, what does that mean for our place in the cosmos? The journey of Voyager 1 is no longer just about exploration. It has become a quest for truth in a universe that may be far more complex and inhabited than we ever believed. As new data continues to emerge, slowly, cryptically, we must remain vigilant and open-minded. The cosmos is speaking. The only question is, are we ready to listen?